What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what is perhaps the easiest and fastest way to get the diamond camo for every weapon in the game, and unlock that final camo, which currently we believe is going to be the chrome camo. We're not 100% sure yet, because one of the challenges is actually glitched on the Panzer Shrek, the one to destroy five score streaks within one game. It is currently unobtainable, and we only know about this chrome camo from people who have gone into the game files on PC, and were basically able to put this camo on their weapons in a local private match. And before I go into detail about all the different strategies that I use to get all these camos, if this is the first video on my channel that you're watching, you're like, who is this Shawnee Dogs guy? What kind of credibility does he have? Well, I was the first person in the world to get these diamond camos for this game, as well as the Black Sky camo for Infinite Warfare, which is the end-all, be-all camo for that game. So I will say, my method is by no means perfect. It all depends on execution, of course, and there are flaws in this strategy, as there are in any strategy for doing anything in the world. It just depends on how you follow it. If at the end of the day, you're not able to do this consistently and pull off 15 to 20 headshots a game, if your aim isn't that good, you're going to struggle. This is going to be a much longer grind for you. The methods, tips and tricks and advice that I'm going to give you, it can only take you so far. The execution is key here and consistency. That is a big factor. If one game you get 25 headshots, the next one you get four. That's not good. You want to be averaging 15 to 20 headshots a game minimum. Otherwise, this is going to take you a whole lot longer than it took me. And it's going to be a very painful time for you guys. So the very, very first tip that I want to share with you, it's not really even a tip. It's like if you're not doing this, you're doing something wrong. You need to be playing hardcore. Currently, there are only three hardcore game modes in this game that are not search and destroy. Obviously, you don't want to be playing search and destroy because you barely get any kills in that anyway. And this is more quantity over quality. So your choices are hardcore team deathmatch, hardcore free for all and hardcore domination. What I choose is hardcore domination because team death, although that can be pretty good as well, domination matches last a lot longer and it is an objective game mode. To me, that is the key here because since it is an objective game mode, the enemy team is not going to be focused on you unless you're staring right at them. They're gonna be focused on these flags so hard that it is gonna give you a lot of free kills. Most of these clips that I'm showing you, I'm just coming up behind people because they're so focused on pushing forward, trying to get to that B flag, when that is not my focus at all. Unfortunately for your teammates, this is not going to be a good strategy for them because you're not really playing objective at all. You're using the fact that this is an objective based game mode to exploit the game for all of its headshots, come up behind people that are not focused on you. And that is the main emphasis here. Sure, some of these clips are a little bit flashy. People are facing me and I'm just sort of getting lucky, getting a lot of feeds on them. That's not going to happen most of the time. All of these clips that I'm showing you, these are like the only clips that I got on my entire grind to getting this. I just made sure to record them. Most of the time, you may get one or two headshots if you're lucky and get gunned down immediately. That's going to be the majority of your grind here. I never said it was fun. I said it was fast. In my Black Sky video for Infinite Warfare, a lot of the comments were, OMG, dude, how did you get this camo so fast? You must have been cheating or something. You would be surprised. I will say that this is more important than anything, probably even more important than the game mode you're playing. It is all about your mindset. There are so many kills that if I was just playing normally, I would have absolutely demolished the guy. I would have killed him before he even got his gun up. But instead, because I am going out there aiming for the head, trying to the best of my ability, grind out these headshots as quickly as possible, there are a lot of gunfights that you're going to lose strictly because you are going for the headshot. That's just the nature of this grind. That is what you're in it for. You don't care about your KD. You don't care about your win loss. You don't even care about playing the objective. You care about headshots. You're not playing Call of Duty anymore. You're playing Headshot Hunter 2000. And if that is not the mindset that you are taking going into this, then you don't really want the camo all that fast. You mainly want to play the game. That is not what this strategy is about. It is about headshots and headshots only. And that is what the focus should be on. In case you are wondering, at the end of my headshot grind, when I finally got all of the camos, my KD was only a 1.4. I am normally a between a 3 and 4 KD player, so to have a 1.4, it was disgusting to see on my stats. But that is the price you pay. That challenge that you see popping up every time I get a kill, the whatever progress out of 500 kills, 
That is the first challenge, the first weekly contract that I picked up when I got this game before I even hopped into a match. So I'm like 60 kills into my experience on Call of Duty World War II, and I'm already in the back of the enemy spawn, and they have us triple capped. So I am dedicated, I am in it for the long haul, and it's time to move on to the tools of the trade. You see me, you're like, hey, why are you using a submachine gun? Aachen is one of the biggest maps. Well, yes, it is one of the biggest maps. If you're looking down the middle hallway, you can see all the way across the map, but on the left and the right side, there are tight corridors. It is good if you can sprint down all the way through one of those corridors, get into the enemy spawn, you're good to go. Then it doesn't really matter what gun you're using. I even pull out the pistol, get a few headshots with that. The pistol doesn't really have much range. But again, it is all in the strategy and the execution. If you can get into the enemy spawn effectively, it really doesn't matter what gun you're using. The one little caveat to that, it does not matter to an extent. Let's say you're playing a map like Gustav Cannon, why wouldn't you pull out a sniper when you can get some easy sniper kills on that? You're mostly engaging in long range gunfights. It's very difficult to get behind people. I tailor the weapon that I'm using to the map that I'm on. Let's say I'm on Black Tower. I know that there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to use a shotgun if I'm playing Gustav Cannon. So I might as well pull out a shotgun when I'm playing on Flak Tower. That way I can get a nice amount of kills in a short amount of time. And there is no time wasted. What I'm getting at here is let's say, oh, I really want diamond submachine guns and you're really chasing that hard. Well, this is not a strategy for diamond submachine guns. I will have videos later on detailing my strategies for each of the different weapon classes because those are more weapon class specific. There are different strategies that you want to use if you're using certain weapons. But what I'm saying here is we're not trying to go for one specific diamond. We are going for everything. So there were so many weapons. When I went ahead and looked at my stats, I had like 70 or 80 headshots for multiple guns at the same time. I was not focused on just sticking with one gun until I got it diamond. No, depending on what map I was playing, I pulled out a different weapon so I wouldn't be wasting my time. If I have a shotgun and I'm on Gustav Cannon, that's a waste of time. You're going to get, what, five kills and you're going to get gunned down a million times from people who are far away. That's not what you want to do. This is not a shotgun diamond strategy. This is the all around strategy. So to break it down for you, you're essentially going to be running at a brick wall. This is not an easy thing to do by any means. You have to get thousands upon thousands of headshots as well as the other challenges that you have to do for weapons. My KD, like I said before, ended up being half of what it normally is because I was so focused on going for these headshots and the execution. Again, I can't stress this enough. It is all in the execution. It's not easy at all. It is one of the hardest things to do in Call of Duty. You're going to die so many times trying to get in the back of the enemy spawn. And when you finally do make it there, you got to make your time worth it. You got to pull at least like two or three headshots getting behind people, maybe getting them for harder guns. You try to move in close for the easy headshot. You're going to have to make a lot of decisions in a short amount of time. And it is those split second decisions that determine if this grind is going to take you three days or three weeks. So all in all, I would say 90% of your focus needs to be on the game mode that you're playing and the weapon that you're using. But once you have all those things set, you have multiple class setups. So if you end up playing on a certain map, you're going to use this gun. You end up playing on a different map. You have another class ready. Once you have all that down, then it becomes a matter of execution. I've laid down the groundwork for you. Obviously, I will get a lot more specific in those specific weapon class videos. I will detail like how to get those challenges after the headshots, all the bloodthirsties, the double kills, the long shots, because some of those can get pretty annoying and you have to follow different strategies to get those exact challenges. So 90% of your grind, it's gonna be spent in hardcore domination. If you think that you can pull a lot more headshots playing hardcore team deathmatch, then by all means, go ahead and do so. Maybe you have your own little strategy, the way that you play the map that allows you to get more headshots in that game mode. Go for it. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, this is a guideline. It is not a strict set of rules that you have to follow. It is all about being comfortable and trying to get the most headshots in the shortest amount of time possible. And I'm sharing with you how I would approach the situation. I mentioned this in the very beginning of the video, but again, this is not a perfect method to follow there are obviously going to be some exceptions like some of the bolt action sniper rifles you don't want to be playing hardcore because it's going to be a one shot kill anyway you'd probably be better off in a core game mode but i will go into much greater detail on exact challenges for certain weapon classes in those weapon class specific videos so make sure to stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please be sure to drop a like 
comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new for some more great videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.